vals hang. When the weather changes, leaves come down and people get Equinox of September 22nd, 2021. I think it's a great opportunity to let things fall into place with journaling and the wonderful matriarch of the West and vegan consciousness the movement that's been providing amazing and healthy food in the community has released a book called A Selfless Journey. And when you look at nature, one sees that things hibernate. And I think as human beings, in order for us to be in our true essence, we too must mimic nature. And I think it's an opportunity to go on a path of self-discovery. And Cecilia uses the dichotomy of her life, the good, the bad, the light, the dark to show the genius in chaos and the amazing things that can come out of it. Whether she's talking about dealing with wisdom or moving through a purple haze of psychological or physical abuse or dealing with people that were close to her that stole from her recently in her business, how she overcame. She goes through an authentic journey of letting you see what is, what's good, what's great, and what's bad. And with, by sharing in a transparent and authentic manner, it allows the reader to also identify things that it might not be so fun or triggering to go through. As I start this soulful journey of hibernation, I will definitely going through the 30-day journey with the moon cycle as she suggests to not only get strength from the people that have come before me but to continue to fortify my soul in this journey of becoming and sharing all my gifts and sometimes sharing our gifts also means sharing our pain sharing our struggles because when we can do that we can liberate ourselves from these isms and social constructs that in order for something to be beautiful, it must be perfect. And Cecilia shows that you don't need to be perfect to be great. You don't need to be perfect in order to be abundant. You don't need to move in these social constructs in order to win. If you're ready to peel back layers, to go on a transformation, to have a metamorphosis, I would start with Tassili Mott's book. Thank you so much, Tassili, for sharing your journey, and I look forward to joining.